Good morning guys, Tony back again, Horror and Todge, hope you're all well. Not a bad morning here in the UK, and I'm off work today because it's my birthday. So I've got a bit of cash in my pocket, so I thought let's head over to HMV, my closest one, and CEX, and see what else we can find around the town. And yeah, just have a good gander around. I don't think I've been to um, HMV since about probably Christmas time maybe. I know it must be five or six weeks. So I'll have a good look around in there, see what's about. Um, hopefully pick some bits up. There's a small CEX there, which is uh, not too bad actually. So I'll have a gander through there. And then I don't know what other shops are around, but we'll, we'll have a look. And um, yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. So enjoy the ride, guys. Uh, let's get off to HMV. Right, guys. So it's into the Four Seasons Shopping Centre. And into HMV in Mansfield. Lovely little store this one. I really like it. Staff are really helpful. Got a pretty cool range of stuff. Let's have a look. First thing I'm seeing is all this Batman new stuff. Loads of t-shirts. Really looking forward to this film. Really do like Batman. You've got cups, you got figures, you got uh, wall prints, socks, all sorts really. Loads of Batman stuff. Really cool. Then loads of pop figures, 30% off. Dracula down there, uh, Mandy, Red Miller, Chainsaw Massacre, a few other bits and bobs, quite a few there, that's a new art series from uh, Night Before Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas, and we've got Regan there from The Exorcist, all the little stay puffs and stuff from the new Ghostbusters film, so quite a few pops there guys if you're into those. And these are the new 4Ks, you know, recent ones. Ghostbusters there, you got June, all st stuff like that. The new one from Clint Eastwood there, Cry Macho. Looks like it's only a DVD release. Uh, Spencer there, I spotted. Adam's Family 2 there too. A quiet Place, Malignant from 9 99 Here's some free for 30 on the 4Ks, guys. You got Jaws, you got Rambo. Uh, Leon there, really good film. And a few more 4Ks here too. In the 2 for 30 and 3 for 30, you got The Eternals, a new one. I haven't watched that yet. I uh, don't know if it really interests me. Uh, Mincanto, uh, Dune again. This looked quite good. DC um, animated series, 49 You got Purge there, free film collection. Uh, Planet of the Apes, so that's the new Resident Evil film, I really do want to pick it up, but I might pick the steelbook up because I haven't got a slip cover with it, unfortunately. But yeah, I do like the look of it, it's quite a cool film. This is the horror section here guys, these are all the DVDs, there's loads in here. If you're a DVD collector, there's uh, absolutely tons of horror, you know, so yeah, really, really, really cool. And then obviously, the other side's all the Blu-rays, so Annabelle there. And soon the darkness, 9.99. What a film that is! Um, Doctor Sleep. There's a cool film. Got a new Slumber Party Massacre remake there. That Virgin Witch is still there for 14.99. Is really cool. Uh, Evil Dead trilogy 12.99 is really good too. Conjuring up there too. So we got Don't Breathe too. Really good film. I liked it. Halloween double pack there. Midsummer. New Resident Evil. Uh, a black veil for this is all like winter chillers so some decent bargains on there to be had too here's the 88 film stuff guys the Van Damme films um, loads of the sort of Japanese uh, martial arts films too The Nun and the Devil still there too um, that's a new one there Delirium Video Nasty um, what else do we have? Urban Legend down there too, guys. Another one of the karate ones. A few um, Criterion Collection, Razorhead up there. And a few others, Tin Drum, Tutsi. That's a cool film. I love The Uninvited. What a film that is. Great film. Here's a new one from 101 Films, guys. We've got Snowtown. We've got the McPherson Tape. Uh, Jungle Trap and Coyote Run. Um, we have another one down there called Effects. So these are all pretty new, $14.99. Uh, Price reasonably, but well. And you've got the Arrow Video section, don't go in the house. Um, 
loads of stuff here, clipboard jungle, the Gamera set, fist bender sets, uh, he came from the swamp, that's a decent set, if you're into that sort of B-movie stuff, um, Nightbreed there, classic, Shock, that's a new one, uh, Six Gothic Tales, Vincent Price set, which is really cool too. And then we've got this guy's Taboo, really like this series, I wish they'd have brought another one out with Tom Hardy, I'll have to pick this up sometime. And again some uh, winter chillers there, so a lot of horror films on DVD and Blu-ray, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street set being a classic. And now we're going into CEX guys, let's see what we can see in here, I haven't been in here like I say for a long time, so Invisible Man, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, uh, more generic stuff here so far, Snake Eyes, haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Godfather trilogy uh, Blu-ray sets, cool. What else do we have? Deadpool there. Some anime stuff. Evil Dead remakes, classic. With nice slip cover for three fifty. Uh, we've got some other bits and bobs here. Breaking Bad set, eighteen quid. Uh, Spider-Man, American Wealth in London. Apocalypse Now. Some Annabelle films, Alien. Uh, King Kong Escapes. That looked quite cool. Uh, Logan there. And we've got The Man Who Laughs, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is getting a re-release on 4K from our video. Peaky Blinders down there. Uh, Prison Break, cool series, I love that film, I love that um, series. Uh, you've got Sun down there, that's a newish one from Vesteron, vampire film. A few more Spider-Man films and lots of Star Wars stuff. It, the classic original, 1990. Uh, we've got Watchmen there, really like that one. A VHS, it's a cool film. This is England, £22 for all the films, that's not too bad a price. Don't know if it's out of print now or not, but uh, Vampires, that's a good price for 15 quid for the deluxe edition with the booklet. Here's the stuff behind the back. Knight Rider there, 80 quid guys, really cool. Some other bits and pieces too. There they are. So guys, just got out of HMV and CX now. I'll show you guys um when I get home what I got so I can give you a closer look. But big bag of HMV and some good stuff from CX. So yeah, I had a real good day today. So I'll see you guys when we get home. We'll have a look them on the table. So guys, just got back from HMV and CX. You saw I give you a good look round in there. Some really cool stuff in both stalls. Like I say, I haven't been for about about six weeks now. So yeah, I picked up a few bits. I had quite a bit of uh, birthday money that I got off people. People were asking me what I wanted, but I just said, can you just give me birthday money so I can pick what I like? But yeah, we'll get straight into this one, guys, and I'll show you what I picked up. First from HMV, so got a good pile here from HMV. Uh, this is the first one I picked up. New one from 101 Films, Snowtown, an Australian film. Uh, this one's 24.99. It's one of the black label releases, number 24, and I don't know why this is... the number like 15, 16.99, 15.99, but... This one's twenty four ninety nine. It is on Amazon too, so I don't know if the film costs more to make or or what, or they put more into it. But this is a really a uh, brutal sort of thriller crime drama, if I remember rightly. I've seen it a few years ago, and it and it stays with you. And it's the first time on Blu Ray, I think, in this country. And uh, there's the back, guys, if you want to read it. Uh, brand new extras there, and. Uh, yeah, there's the aspect ratio, guys. So, um, really cool to have this from 101 Films. They are doing a great job at the minute. Uh, nice artwork. So, yeah, really cool film. Tell me if you've seen that one, guys. That's really good. Um, next one is the recent release this week. Brilliant artwork. A lot better than the film itself, but it is a video nasty. Uh, Delirium from 101 Films. I've seen a few guys pick this up. It was fourteen ninety nine, obviously. Nice side loading slip. I love a side loading slip. I don't know why. I just I find them amazing. Um, and yeah, I can't remember watching this in a long time. And um, I have seen it, but it's a long time ago. I remember it not being very good. But I'll give it another watch, guys. A load of special features on there too. Uh, I think it's yeah, worldwide premiere. Well, English premiere on Blu Ray. So glad to have another uh, video nasty on a Blu-ray. This one's pretty recent from um, our video. 
can hear the rain guys i'm sorry it's really bad weather but i'm in the conservatory um this is uh, i think a japanese film called red angel from akeo wakoe or something like that so i haven't seen this one before it's just a blind buy but it sounds right up my street sounds pretty uh pretty cool so I'll definitely be checking out. Not that many special features, but like I say, it is a pretty new one. So if you've seen that one, guys, let me know what you thought. That's Red Angel. Pick this one up because it's nine ninety nine, and I didn't have it in my new collection. Uh, Robin Hardy film, The Wicker Man, uh, Studio Canal special, final edition, final cut. Loads of different Edward Woodward, Christopher Lee, one of the classic horror films. Um, you know, it's just brilliant. I think you get a few cuts of the film, theatrical cut, UK theatrical cut, director's cut, loads of bits and bobs on there. This is a great film if you haven't watched it. If you're into your um, folk horror and uh, moody atmospheres, you get the soundtrack too. So for, for 9 99 in a side slip again, uh, really cool. Thought I'd pick that one up. This is a pretty new one too, guys. I've seen a lot of people picking it up and I'd... I didn't even know they brought this remake out up until I saw it on like Instagram and stuff. And it's the Slumber Party Massacre. Um, obviously, not prequel, but a remake. So I really like Slumber Party Massacre from the 80s, but this one's a remake, obviously, so I don't know if it's going to be any good. But another slasher. Audio commentary there, too. And pretty new, a couple of weeks old, I think. Slumber Party Massacre. And inside. Black case with just the same same artwork. So forty nine on. I thought I'd grab that one. Uh, this one's gone down two in there, and this is a really cool film if you haven't seen this, like a suspense thriller. And soon the darkness got a really nice uh, slip cover from Studio Canal, the vintage classic range, and um, it used to be seventeen ninety nine. It was nine ninety nine. And if you haven't seen this, it's great cinematography, guys, and just uh, a good story. I really like it. Quite brutal. Uh, you got a new interview as well with Ken Newman in this. So it's quite a cool Robert First film. And inside again, just the same, but for $9.99, I thought I'd grab that one. This one was the same. It's only got a couple of quid off it. It was $11.99. It's now uh, $9.99. Michael Powell film, Peeping Tom. Remember this being really good. I think I've only seen it once. A bit like a psycho sort of film, a psychological thriller, uh, with some quite uh, harrowing scenes, if I remember right. I think it's from 1959 or 1960, something like that. But um, yeah, really good stuff. It's got a good. Um, a lot of people really, really like this film and find it, you know, captivating. So I thought I'd pick that up for 9.99. Another Jallo to add to the collection, guys. One that I haven't seen before. Got a nice slip cover as well. A Black Veil for Lisa. Um, so this is one of the 88 Films uh, Italian collection. But there's the back, guys. Say so sorry about the rain. I'll try and blur it out. But yeah, really cool limited edition slip cover. I saw this on the shelf and I thought, you know, got to get this one. So that's uh, another cool... Jallo, I do love my Jallo films. I picked this one up because the one I had I, I gave to a good friend of mine, Steve from 80s Film Fan, and I forgot to pick it back up. But it was six ninety nine, and that's the the newest wrong term film, which I, I enjoyed. I thought it was a good a good remake and completely different to how they were. Not the greatest film in the world, but really enjoyable. Had Tomb Raider vibes in it, but yeah, cool film for six ninety nine. And then I had the urge to watch Lost Boys the other night, and I can't believe I haven't got it anywhere. I thought I had it on maybe DVD in the shed or something. Couldn't find it anywhere, so I thought <sighs> picked up the Lost Boys trilogy of a beautiful slipcover. Uh, it's like really glossy for twelve ninety nine. Now I know the other two films are meant to be poor. I haven't watched them, but I don't really have the. I don't know if I'll ever watch them, but. I probably will. Might do a ranking or something. So I know they're meant to be pretty bad. I think it's Corey Feldman in one of them. I don't know, but um, yeah. So tell me if you've seen them, guys. Obviously, the first one's a classic. I love it. 
might introduce my uh, daughter to it. That's why I want it. She's 13 now, and I think she'd uh, like that sort of film. But uh, yeah, so that's a cool set for 12 99 So that's all what I got from HMV. And then I picked up a few things from CEX. There was some really good stuff in there, to be fair. Um, so I picked up... I think this one's out of print now. Well, I can't find it at a reasonable price. Um, Robin Williams' best performance, in my eyes anyway. One hour photo for 10 quid. Really creepy. Um, about this... Uh, you know, it's, it's a great thriller. It's like... Um, about this guy's like, obviously photographer and stuff and it's just um like a a peephole into his life and it's just uh really un, unnerving psychological you know thriller it's uh really good and i really think his, his performance is spectacular in this so uh, i've got one hour one hour photo for 10 pounds then i picked this one up because i remember seeing it a long time ago and i remember liking it and uh, it was four quid and you don't see it around on Blu-ray much now. It's probably a reason, because it's rubbish. But it's called Recut. Um, £4. It's probably out of print now. Probably struggle to find it. I remember it being quite a, a, a brutal watch. But, you know, nothing too crazy. But I thought, you know, it's one of those films that's going to go out of print. And you're probably never going to see around again. So I thought for £4, we'll get Recut. I think it... Last time I went in there, it was like 10 or 12 quid, so they pulled the sticker off, and obviously they hadn't sold it for a long time, and it's £4 now. This one I saw in um, HMV, it was, I think, 16 and I saw it in CEX, £6. So it's a Shudder original, and it's called um, Scare Me. I have watched it on, on Shudder, so I've got Shudder, but physical copy's always good to have. We, you know, we know we're physical collectors. I really like the film, to be fair. Really cool. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely get on it, guys. I found it quite a, quite a decent watch. You know, not all these shudder films are great, but this one's pretty good. So that scared me for £6. Bargain. Then I picked up a film with Kane in out of WWE. We all know this one. See No Evil, 350. So I thought... You don't see this one around very often now. Terrible film, but I love a slasher. I love Kane. So, um, you know, I'll give it another rewatch. Uh, a bit of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre rip-off, I suppose. But, you know, you've got a few special features there. I thought 350, you know, we'll get... Uh, I'll get something out of this. It's quite brutal, from what I remember. Uh, all region copy. So, um, yeah, I thought £3.50, that's good. Then this was quite a bot. This was a good bargain. Um, I got a razor head, the Criterion one, for twelve pound, with the uh, booklet. Everything's in there. It's absolutely mint, guys. It just slips out like this. And you've got. This is a really weird film. I need to watch it again. I didn't like it at first, but I don't know. I'm gonna uh, give it a rewatch. It's just an absolutely mind, mind craziness really nice booklet in there guys all the good stuff doesn't even look like it's been red excuse me about the rain so for 12 pound i thought it's 25 or 19.99 at the minute really good addition then i picked up this is pretty new release this was 12 pound uh sundown the vampires in retreat Minty slip cover on this at CX. It must have just been bought in. Never seen it before. Never heard of it. So we shall see what it's like. Another vampire film. I like the vampire films. A few special features there from the good guys at uh, Vestron. Same in the inside, guys. So yeah, look for. Tell me if you've seen that one. I don't know if it's any good or not, but uh, we shall see. Last one, guys. I think this was quite a good pickup. Rubbish film, but um, you know, it's uh, Jaws the Revenge, Zavi exclusive steelbook, absolutely mint with a J card. And I'm gonna have to get that sticker off eight pounds. So it's a terrible film, but um, quite a really nice steelbook. So if I peel this off, let's see if we can get a better look at this. So 
you know. Then on the back, you grasp the idea, these Zabby Steel books. So I thought for eight quid, I'm going to get that. Um, so yeah, all in all, some really cool pickups, as again said, sorry about the rain, guys. Obscuring me, but yeah, great day today. Um, some good stuff for my birthday. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching, guys. Get in the comments, leave me a comment, you know, if you want to ask anything. Tell me what you think of my pickups. I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all tomorrow for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, requel review. So I'll catch you later, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.